Welcome back to Autocraft. I've been gone for a little bit. Uh, well, I have a good reason for that. First of all, it hit like 110 on my apartment. I have an air conditioning, so I really can't do anything. And then I went on vacation for a couple of weeks. So I literally just got back from a very long trip that was very much needed yesterday. And I, I, I have not been on the server literally almost a month. I, I'm sure things have changed. I'm sure there's there's nothing the same. I haven't even walked outside of my room yet. I literally just like logged in and turned on OBS. So let's do a little discovery, see what's happened in the last month. Because I'm sure it's not small. My dog waited patiently with a good puppy. I need uh, a boat. Wait, do I still have a boat? I should have a boat over here. And Rusty Storage is gone. So he's moved. Now we've kind of an idea, or at least last time I talked to someone, we have an idea of where we're setting up. It's over on that island just around the corner. And I'm taking like the highest point of the whole place. And I need to go see what, like, what that looks like. But I also am pretty sure the shopping district's pretty well fleshed out at this point. And I desperately need stuff like enchantments. And I'm hoping there's a store to so I'm going to take some time and I'm going to take a little jaunt around the server and the shopping district and we'll, let's just see where things kind of take me today. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow, I like this. This screams Calvin. Light tough, so simple tough, simply stupid tough. Members? What? Mem members? Almighty notarized and What is what did I miss? Welcome to the Stuff Simple Tough Shop. It's a subscription-based service to make it easier for customers to acquire tough for the build. This feels like a trap. This feels like a trap. A subscription serve? What's Calvin doing? This, this, this screams mud society, but with tough. Screams Mud Society, but with tough. It's an MLM. It's another MLM cult. That's 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 gotta be what it is. There's no way it's not. All right. Well, let's go to the island where we're setting up and see if anyone's built anything. I mean, Rusty's not there anymore. I've been abandoned. So I mean, <laughs> I, I have been gone almost a month. I can't say I blame him. Oh, I've been missed. I've just been to my friend. Um, I wanted to find out if Kelvin started the cult. Oh, okay. Holy... Uh... Wow. I'm gonna guess this is Rusty? This is neat. I can't wait to see what he's got in store for this. This is really neat. It's quite large. I like this. I like this a lot. Man, I'm going to have to step up my game. Because my house is supposed to go like right here. I kind of want to do something bigger now. Ah, uh, do I shelf my starter house? I wasn't going to go real big this season to start with because I've got a lot to do, but 
I know I feel like I have to step it up now. I'm going to have to consider that very carefully. All right, let's go see Crink. I have so many questions. What in the world? Holy. Hello there. Whoa, dude. I just, just give me a second to take this in. I've been a little in. busy. Dude, this is... Wow. Okay, now that's Jushik, right? Correct. And this is you, I'm yes. assuming. Yes. I, 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 I saw, and um, yeah. I think I found Rusty's base, and holy cow, did he build that castle? Yeah, it's a castle. Yeah, he's got a oh, castle. Oh, that is so cool! <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's amazing. I mean, look at that. Yeah, just. <laughs> so I have Bobby, and because I have had this loaded, when I'm in the shopping district by my shop, I just turn to my right. I can see the very top of that. Like I can only see the clock part from the shopping district. That's so That's cool. That's how tall it is. But anyway, welcome to the autocraft. Yeah, welcome to autocraft. <laughs> where we go crazy in a month. But I have a question. What's up? So I Daddy stepped into recording? the shopping district. And there's a gorgeous build over there. I, I'm like, I walk up and I literally say, this build screams Calvin. And I walk inside and there's a <laughs> subscription service for... Is, did Calvin start another cult? Give me one second. Wait, wait. Crank. <laughs> Give me one second. Crank. Stay out there. Stay out there. Give me a second. Oh, oh no. <laughs> what did he do? Dude. So lucky. Oh, okay. Oh no. Me and Calvin have started this new business. You started a cult, didn't you? It's called Stuff. I know standing it. for Simple Tough. Yep. Okay. And pretty much, if I give you this paper, I see you. You do in fact have 32 levels, so you definitely have enough to write on that piece of paper. Uh, all you have to do is put your name on it and put that in that barrel right there and you sign up for our service. Okay, and what is this service like? What, so what? pretty much, okay. it is a stuff, or stuff more like tough, subscription service where if you put in tough into our business, it then kind of like gains interest and then you can get more tough every month. So it's not a cult, but an MLM. Sure, whatever that means. Okay, so what do you gain out of this? Well, we all get tough. Right, but who mines it? The entire community. So see, you mine tough, Geo mines tough, Rosie mines tough, I mine tough, Calvin mines tough. It all goes into one big storage system. And then when you need tough, you say like, hey, Crink, or hey, Calvin, I need five stacks of tough for this bill I'm making. Bam, tough. So we give you, you all of our tough and you just store it. You don't have to give all your tough, but you give a little down payment, and then when you need more, we got you. And how are you making money off of this? With the the, um, the different tiers that are in the shopping district. This is just kind of like the base sign up, and then you can sign up for a different tier inside so the shop. So how much is it going to cost Or me? it depends on what type of tier you sign up for. Okay. You'll be charged in tough. I'll be charged in tough. So if I want Correct. something, I have to pay you in tough block. Yes. Hmm. You make a really. <sighs> do I do I need to start a cult around clay? No. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Fine. 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 I won't call it clay. I'll call it what it is. Zombie dirt. That's that's better. <laughs> <laughs> so all I have to do is it's put my name on this piece of paper. Yes. You, you said write your name on this piece of paper and I'm signed up. No, no, no. You're going to write Anki on it. Oh, oh. See, now you're being specific. What do you actually want, Crink? I want you to write your Minecraft username on that, which your Minecraft username is Anki. You don't have to put the one, but you can put on. Let me think about it. 
Well, me and Calvin will be approaching you soon. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll... So I'll, I'll give you this. until then. Oh, okay. 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 Fine. You need to work on your sales pitch. Yeah, I know I do. <laughs> So, Mr. Seriously, can I see your build now? Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. How far down does this... Oh. Just this layer. And then it goes up one. Dude, I mm -hmm. like this. I don't know exactly what I'm putting in here, but I put my enchant when I had to move it, so I put it there. This has got a very... We're trying to... Like, like... Medieval tavern, a tavern type feel to it. It's not. I've been trying to like do more interior stuff this cold, season. Like, that's what I want to get better at. But it's interiors. yeah. No, I like it. it. The vibe in here is fantastic. I think this is great, dude. Dude, this is very nice. Yeah, this is where I like jump off in the morning. Just I try not to land on my dog's head. I I like the uh, sword in the scabbard. Yeah, right above the fireplace. Up on the wall. Yeah, the fireplace. Right yeah. here. I've got lots of them from this week. You know what's with the the jukebox? Oh, you... Ooh, is that the new one? Have you listened to it yet? No, I haven't. It's actually kind of nice. Okay. Give it a second. It's pretty. And here comes the crescendo. With the toy box. Give me World of Warcraft vibes. This is really loud. Oh, actually, it sounds like it's winding down. Dude, that's that was that's kind of a jam, man. Yeah. You want one? You have multiple? I too. Heck yeah, man. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I'll take it. You know what else I have? What's that? <gasps> hold on, hold on. Where's the bed? 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 Where's Where do you want me to kill you? With yes! <laughs> yes, I do. I know I have 32 okay. levels. I don't care. Okay. All right. Go, um, go stand on my front porch. Okay, hold on. Take the armor off so you don't destroy it. Oh no, you can keep the. I mean, no, actually, if you want to, you don't want armor. I, I don't have any mending. Fair. You can buy some of a mount torture. I I need some I need some wings too. Mount torture? Did you just say mount torture? Yeah, I did. That's Lazy's mountain. He named it. Well, we named. Man. It. Hey man, how's it going? I'm up here. I'm Good gone night. for a month and. Welcome home. Thanks, Crank. I feel so much better now. I'm gone for a month and people take my naming things away from me. Mount Torture. That sounds like something I would come up with. Let's be fair. I'll be right back in one second. Sorry about that. I got a call from my girlfriend. Her cat was stuck in her nose. So just another Tuesday then? Yeah. Well, it's actually Sunday, but yeah. I mean, detail, detail. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I've gotten all the advancements that comes with the trial chamber too. Oh, nice. Um, there's one for stepping foot in there. There's one for dealing 50 hearts of damage in a single hit using the mace. I've gotten that one. Um, scrape a copper ball with an ax to make it brighter. Who needs rockets? Use a wind charge to launch yourself upward eight blocks. Kill a breeze with a deflected breeze shot wind charge. And then I have the, the two ones for using a key, underlocking key for using a normal key and revolting for using an ominous trial key. Um, what are you doing? I just picked up a random book and put it, it back says, in there. put it back in there. If you are crink, read this. If you're not crink, do not read what it follows. And it's called secret stuff. You're not you crink, are you? No, no, but I'm suspicious. <laughs> so what are you doing with the book? 
<laughs> what are you doing with the this, fuck, this, this is This is your MLM, like, scam <laughs> thing, isn't it? Put the book back, Aki. No! Aki? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking through my teeth when I say put the book back. <laughs> Fine. I love hanging out with Crink. It's always a riot. On the way back from Crink's place, I ran into Geo, who was very generous. Do you need a little, diamonds? little walking around cash? Um, well, I mean, well, yes, but no. I'll tell you what, you, you take this. Oh wow! I've got, wow. I've got twenty four blocks, so I'm Gucci, Gucci for now. Oh, holy crap! Okay. Yeah, you, you take that. I will pay you back when I have it. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, man. Get on it, uh, I, you, Mister. I take month long breaks. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, Where yeah, did you come yeah, from? Yeah, yeah. He's been on your shoulder, on your shoulder since the, the you were went to the frog shop. Oh yeah, this one I swear I've got two green birds and both of them are pests. I always click on them by accident. <laughs> We are at the area where I'm going to put up my starter base house thing. It's not very big, but I wanted to be on top of the mountain, so here I am. So we're going to start by clearing away all of the trees and filling a hole that's pretty big and uh, lighting it up and, and, you know, making it so we can actually build here. And we are done. Well, mostly. Let me give you the grand tour and explain a few things. I did want to go a bit simpler, and I went a lot smaller, and now I didn't scrap my plans. I was tempted, but I didn't. But I wanted to use a lot of the new tough blocks, new palette. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done, like I need to do some decorating on the outside. Rusty gave me this fantastic idea of putting in a wood shack, and I need to add some foliage and stuff out here. Uh, the inside, hold on, this is going to drive some people crazy and I'm sorry, but the doors look really nice, flush up against the walls until you close them. But that's why they stay open. <laughs> but I wanted this little indent with the wall. I think it looks really nice to have that separation. It's not like 100% flat and sterile like it is a lot of other places. So the interior is mostly done. I'm missing a few things. I need an inner chest here. I've got storage set up. Everything is labeled. There's still a few things here and there that need to happen. I've got a small furnace array. There's nothing automated about it and nothing special. It's not, not going to be a long-term thing. I'm going to be here a while, but it's not going to be a long-term resident. And then um, my bed. and uh, These are for my next project, which we'll find out in the next video. And this is my armory. Now, the way this is going to work is every single statue is going to have a different type of armor on it. So, like, the, this is be le leather and then gold and then uh, iron and then diamond. And then the set that I end up using and finishing at the end of the season with is going to go on a statue here in the very center of the room. I need to do a bit more decor. I've been kind of playing around with the new paintings. And I do like most of them, but I wanted to add something else to the room. It still feels a bit plain. I'm still working on it. This is still very much a work in progress. And Willow was a good puppy the entire time. Yes, she was. Good girl. And again, I used the walls as kind of this detailing to add a little bit of separation. So in the upstairs, I've decorated. I have an interior partially done. I got a little bit more storage. I added this, so if I'm in a hurry, I can just jump straight down. And this little reading nook with bookshelf and fireplace. And, and it's nothing elaborate. I still want to add just a little bit of touch of something, but it, I didn't want to leave it plain. And then out on the balcony, I need to add a couple more fence posts here. 
And all of this, except for these strips right here, are going to be exposed waxed and it's going to stay this color because it just works better with the tuff because the tuff is kind of a darker green. Now, yes, I know this is not the best way to age copper, but I'm going to be here a while. It doesn't really matter that much. I just figured I'd let it do it naturally rather than it's creating a great big copper field. And as they get to this point, I'll have to get some more wax. I can scrape off the certain layers and wax it so they stay. And this is going to be my landing pad. So when I get my elytra, which is happening soon, TM, uh, this is where I'm going to be landing. And then I can come down and stairs up and down and in and out. I do like these doors, though. I don't remember where I saw them, but it looks like it's fantastic. But this is this is the end of this episode. My house is done and I've got things set together. I've I've got my next project, which is I need to get a, a redstone shop up and running on the way. I need to get to the end and get myself a pair of wings because honestly, the, the wings and lack of enchantments are the things that are holding me back right now. And I would really like to get that bottleneck taken care of. So that's that's my next goal. And that I'm quite, quite pleased with how this is turning out. And Willow was a good dog. She, she deserves a nice treat. Here. Good girl.